So we have one of the best players in the world right now in CS2, Donk. Crazy performance from him at Katowice. Gonna do a demo review to give some light on how exactly he's getting the kills, what rotations is he making, and I hope that you enjoy it. Let's go. Chopper has a really good system around Donk, and you see it more on T-sides, but what you'll notice is on T-sides is that he's always with the pack. He's always like in the middle of the action. Um, so they give him a lot of really good opportunities to display his really incredible mechanical skill. Then here we have the first anti-eco. Donk, instead of going for any mollies or anything like that, he just goes for M4. He knows that they don't have anything. They're most likely not going to be buying Tech 9 armor or anything like that. They're most likely just going to go for you know, Deagle kills outside. So Shiro has this line and they kind of have that set up so they're going to be taking like the same type of duels. They're not taking uh, you know crazy 1v1 duels. They're not really giving... Uh, phase like any opportunities just in case they went for like the dig or the scout buy and This is pretty much how it's gonna look you're just gonna be looking for duels They only have glocks and you have an m4 at super long ranges. So pretty easy uh, choice for him to take all of these duels Now we have the first gun round. So full everything. We have two of his teammates on MP9, so they might want to be doing something aggressive. Shiro is going to be playing at Big Garage while he is trying to stop Secret Rush right now. He is an HE, but he was a little bit slow on it because he was going for some spam uh, kills. So he doesn't actually know that they're down Secret here. And then Spirit, since they have a bonus, they are going to be trying to go for this. And as he Molotov, so you can see as Magix Molotovs out emo, he swings through the smoke and he gets uh, the first guy that's looking towards single here. So these were obviously really nice kills from Donk here. So as soon as the molly comes, he swings, gets a free kill on Brokey, hard trade for Frozen, and just honestly super easy. He starts mini just in case. They're doing pretty much the same setup as last round. Gets a free spam kill. And you can see that it's honestly pretty easy for Donk right now. He doesn't feel any pressure. There's actually multiple reasons, I think, why it's it's so easy for him here. Um, he kind of understands the timing on this on the first kill. So he's kind of just understanding the timing of, you know, when, where they could be if they're, like, full walking it. Because he doesn't hear anything. So as you can see, they're not really, you know, throwing anything. Zontix, like, has him covered. Like, if anything did happen, he has him covered on this round. Because Zontix, like, has this... You know entire section for him if somebody tries to like, go in front of the smokes or drop down from top mini try to chase after him while he's spamming he knows that somebody's there to protect him and now you're kind of seeing like his rotations which are really nice as soon as he gets those two kills he just calmly like walks in he knows that zontix has his outside nothing's happening at ramp and he's getting the boost so he can be more more nimble with where he wants to go and now he's in heaven and he can freely rotate anywhere he wants and as you can see he's already back outside and he just gets two really nice duels. Really hard for the phase guys. So Chopper is going down the vent, and Zontix calls that their ramp. Him and Shiro are immediately here. So Shiro started heaven this round, and Donk's just playing normal outside. And because it does help that Zontix is able to slow them down, and Shiro and Donk are able to get here in time. But I feel like that's been how I watch Donk, is he's able to get there in time, every time. And that's why he's been so consistent. I feel like he's always there when he needs to be there. At 58 seconds, he didn't hear anything yet. Donk is already moving right now. He's, they already are reading it. They're, they know that it's about to be upper, and Donk is positioning himself to move. And you see he already made it here in time. He gets a duel, wins two, and... You can see how many times he's putting himself in really good positions. And I say so far, we haven't seen any crazy like headshots or anything like that. What I've seen mainly is super nice rotations. I feel like the enemy hasn't had any chances. And he's positioning towards Vent. And he knows like for him to multi-kill, he wants to be more on the left side here. Spams just before it goes away. So even right there, he's giving himself like another chance to get another freebie. And that's what you should be looking for in your game, to be trying to get as many freebies as possible. And he could have potentially had one here. If they were facing the smoke on that timing, he could have just got a freebie and he was already getting away. Closes the door and he's going to get in a really good position here with Zontex too. Really nice play overall on this round from like the macro point of view, especially. And I'd say from the mechanical point of view, honestly, it just looks really easy. Like I, I feel like his cross replacement is great. Everything that he has to hit, he's been hitting. So here, as they go upper, this is a really hard position. It's incredible that he actually gets two. So he smokes out the Molotov, and now he knows that he can't play next. 
the next thing that can happen is he pretty much has to wait for his teammates to play. And as soon as they start playing and they start taking contact, he's going to run through. So as soon as Shiro and Zontix, they start taking damage, he immediately runs through and nobody was actually looking at the smoke because they're all distracted from his teammates running through. This is when he's in a smoke and because he's in a smoke here, obviously he, he's not just gonna run out of a smoke just randomly. So when you're in these situations, you know, you're probably calming to your teammates. Uh, I'll, I'll swing out of the smoke when uh, you guys start playing. So you're gonna try to find some timing where, you know, these guys aren't gonna be able to look at heaven because there's just so many other things that are happening. So Zontix, he's ready here in the vent. Shiro, he's gonna go towards mini. You know, Zontix, he goes through. He's up the vent, he starts taking fights. And then Shiro, he takes another fight, and then Donk, immediately after that happens, he's already getting ready. It's not just when Zontix is up the vent, it's when he starts taking his duel. Uh, he's CT vent, CT vent, as soon as he says that, then Donk is starting to move, even before Shiro, you know, takes any contact, because Shiro doesn't know that Rain is in mini, at least, I'm, I mean, I'm not sure exactly. But as soon as Zontix starts fighting, that's when Donk is like, okay, time to activate. His crosshair placement was perfect for Rops there, and him having, like, this crosshair placement while going through the smoke, he obviously can hear Rops shooting, so his crosshair placement is already in the perfect spot. To have that crosshair placement in the smoke, yes, he can hear it, but it's, it's still not easy to have that. I think that's the main thing that, you know, jumps out to me when I watch this entire CT half is, wow, he has such good positioning and his crosshair placement is insane. So let's, let's just look right before he gets this kill. So he, he kills Rops here and he knows he's right there. He does a really wide strafe out to the left. Goes back right, does another wide strafe, trying to like edge out to try to kill him. And then after that, he does another short strafe and then another super wide strafe. I think that's really hard movement for Kerrigan to deal with. I think if Kerrigan like tried searching for him there, I think that he probably would have just got owned the same way he did here. Bomb down. Oh, I mean, that was just crazy. I mean, he's just predicting frozen strafes right here. Check heaven. Trying to get a freebie, like it's just, it's so nice to watch like how uh, like how smart he is in these situations. So as soon as Spirit does this fake upper exec, they wait a couple seconds. One goes top mini, they are uh, swinging outside, and they see Rain at big. And that's such a hard shot too, actually. He doesn't know how wide Rain is going to be, and he still wins this duel. Because, you know, they see Rain. They see him going to the right. They don't know like what angle he's going to be taking. And this is a really hard shot incredible like adjustment as he's like strafing close to the wall really nice movement as well because of his cover smoke on top mini you know obviously he's being diligent about him uh, potentially being on credit but he still has to clear this left side area so he clears that he makes a step as soon as uh the he happened they can't really tell as well with that step you're also on stage so there's pretty much zero percent chance that they can tell and he's just kind of sliming through mini here as all of this upper stuff is happening. And let's see more from like the mechanical side. So as this upper pop is happening, he's just gonna run through. Gets a guy in the back. Brokey's uh, completely blind from Shiro's flash and it's pretty easy kill for him, honestly. He makes it look extremely easy. Like I feel like all of his kills have looked really easy. That uh, rain kill on Biggerage um, a couple rounds ago was probably his hardest shot that he had to hit. Everything else, I feel like he's just in the right spot. His crosshair placement's right there. It's, it's actually usually just so good that his first shot just connects and it's a one bullet in the head. So here, Brokey's going through, uh, going for a play. And I'd, I'd say the problem uh, sometimes like with this play, um, especially with this cover smoke, is he can't really see anything. So because this cover smoke is there, he, he has to go kind of wide to actually see anything and go for a kill. And he wants to use the flash and Donk knowing, uh, you know, what play it was, he immediately just like spammed to smoke. And Donk just gets like another freebie. And they're just, they're just running it down up here. Oh, Kerrigan unfortunately falls down. I mean, it's just so easy for him, honestly. I feel like his mechanics and just the way that he's just uh, set up in these rounds, he's just taking full advantage of it. And there it is. So Donk 32 and 14. Best way I could describe it is He's understanding what his limitations are in a lot of these rounds. And from the mechanical side, I already mentioned the crosshair placement, but 
In terms of like his strafes, he is always trying to go for, uh, you know, the, obviously he, he does like a lot of uh, wide swings, a lot of uh, wide strafes. He's pretty much just trying to, you know, make it a very hard shot for his opponent. Like he, he understands like when, you know, there can be multiple angles and when uh, people would be holding like certain types of waves towards an angle, he puts himself in situations where it's hard for the other people to hit him and he's giving himself very easy shots. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, me going over Donk. He's been playing so insane recently. Let me know in the comments uh, who else you would want me to watch or go over if you like this type of uh, demo review. So let me know your thoughts and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.